Hi, honey. Well, it's hard to believe it's been two years. But here we are again. And, uh, so I thought I'd come out here and read you some more in your Miley Cyrus book. And we can finish that together. I'll read a chapter today, but we'll, we'll do the rest next weekend. This, week, this week's our beach day. So, um, anyway. I brought you some flowers and one for Mommy and Luke and Katrina as well. Oh, I brought you Shamrock too. Go check. Flowers, Shamrock. So, um, let's just read this chapter together and spend some time in the mission. Um, sorry, read. <laughs> Miley Cyrus book. Alright, so here we go. This chapter is called Another Angel. So it's October 31st, 2007. It's 1.02 a.m. and I'm not able to sleep after the painful news received around 11 that my best friend, my hero, my sister God forgot to give me, my everything was graced with 24 hours to live. I don't know why this happens and why it continues. All I know is I will have a new angel watching over me and her name is Vanessa. Our angel's name is Cassandra. My friend Vanessa was very ill. They were saying it was only a matter of hours, but I was in denial. I knew that feeling. When I called the hospital, hoping to hear that she was on an upswing, because that's what I wanted to believe, her parents told me, Miley, she's died. I couldn't process it. She was dead, but she was so young. I couldn't accept it. How could she die? How could God feel like her job here was done? I'd never lost a friend before. I was wrecked. It was late at night. We were stopped at a Walmart in the middle of nowhere. I couldn't get back on that bus. I needed things to halt. I went out into the middle of a snow-covered field and lay down. The sharp blades of frozen grass poked at my bare arms. I lay on my back, staring at a big white sign saying Supermart. The nestle was gone, and I hadn't been there by her side not at the end. After a while, Linda, my teacher, and my mom came out to get me. Linda said, look how happy you made her. She had a good last few months. When she needed you, you were there. Oh, gosh. I tried to be there for you, Cassandra. I did my best. My mom said, you didn't even know that she needed you. But it seems like you didn't realize how much you needed her. And she wrote, she wrote this poem, well, I guess it's a lyric, you know, I don't know the melody, I'd sing it to you, but it's called I Can't Breathe. It goes like this. I can't tell you why the sun shines. I can't explain the moonrise. I don't know why time flies by, but ask me and I'll tell you why. I'm blessed to have you in my life. I can't live another day without you by my side. It's getting harder and harder to breathe. So I'm begging you, don't take her away from me. I guess she's talking to God there. I've known since I met you, you're an angel sent to me. I remember that when you looked into my eyes, I fell in love with your smile. Huh, I did too. <clears throat> I can say you, you help my heart beat every day. I believe I'll never be alone. You'll live in me. And you will, girl. Oh, look, the next chapter is called Mandy Medicine. That's, uh, Mandy was uh, Katrina and Vija's little make-a-wish girl. Well, I think that's the end of the chapter. So, I'm going to take a walk in this beautiful garden here. I'm going to go by the little Japanese garden that Mommy and I used to walk through when we were thinking about you. I'll see you again soon. I love you, honey. Ta ga agam dish. Yem hu. Cheers, girl.